Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular, we're going to be focusing on the workflow to assign a moment angle or a moment T connection to a joint for resisting the moment reaction. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application where I've already created several different types of joints within this model. For this particular exercise, we're going to be focusing on joint number two. This joint is a beam column flange joint which has both a shear and moment reaction opposed upon it. As you can see, I've already assigned a shear connection template to take care of the shear reaction for this particular joint. If I were to take a look in the joint selection area, I could see that the shear connection is passing all code checks and is not producing any warnings. We're now at the point in our workflow where we're ready to assign a connection to this joint to take care of the moment portion of the reaction. And for this exercise, we're going to choose either a moment angle or a moment T. To start that process, we'll go to the design tab of the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. When we get to the connection assignment dialog, we're going to notice that the filter is already set up for a beam column flange joint, since that's the joint that is currently selected. All of our connection types within RAM connection can resist certain types of reactions, and we're looking for a moment connection. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse the shear area and take a look at my moment options. And this is the one I'm looking for. Uh, this will be a moment angle. Now the moment angle or moment T's are available in both a basic and smart connection workflow. To find it in the smart connection area, we can go ahead and collapse this, and again, we're looking for the acronym MA for moment angle. Now for this exercise, we're gonna go with a basic connection workflow, and we're gonna select the MA bolted option. Once we've selected our connection type, let's click on the assign button, and we can see that a moment connection has now been assigned. Now in the joint selection area, we will see the interaction ratio for the controlling condition. Now this particular connection has both a moment connection and a shear connection assigned to it, since those are both two different types of reactions that we need to resist. If I were to take a look at the home tab and the ribbon toolbar, I'm going to notice that this critical load condition icon is currently selected. With this icon selected, I'll notice that the interaction ratio within the joint selection area will be for the controlling load condition and not just for the load condition that's currently selected. Now, since my shear connection passed the code check, I know that the connection that's currently failing is our moment connection. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we might be able to edit this connection. To do that, I'm going to select the Design tab and the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Edit icon. Since both a shear and a moment connection are assigned to the currently selected joint, I can edit each one of them independently. For this exercise, let's go ahead and edit our moment connection. Now in the connection pad, I'm going to take a quick look at my connection arrangement. And already I can see that this connection that was currently selected is not quite appropriate for the geometry that I have. Here I can see that my angle is a bit wide and my bolts are actually not falling along this beam. I'm guessing that that is why my connection is currently failing. And if I wanted to confirm that or any other information, I can click on the results icon to view the connection report. Here I can see that the resulting tension capacity due to prying action is what's failing. 
So let's go ahead and close out of the connection report and let's take a look at some of the parameters for this particular connection. Here you can see that I can adjust any of the angles or flange T information within the connection pad. This includes changing from a bolted or welded connection or changing from an angle to a T. In addition to that, I can add transverse stiffeners or column web panel zone stiffeners. Now for this particular exercise, I'm gonna take a look at this geometry. I'm gonna see if just four bolts in the top flange might satisfy my connection design. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find a parameter that would work for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the bolt columns from four to two. Now, as you can see that went ahead and adjusted my connection, my geometry is looking a little bit better, but I'm still failing the code check. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my angle section. I'm hoping that maybe if I change the thickness of my angle, that might get me to a passing connection design. So here, instead of an eight by four by three quarter, I'm gonna go with an eight by four by one. I'm gonna select the angle from the United States database and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, as I take a look in the ribbon toolbar on the connection pad, I can see that my interaction ratio is now less than 1.0, meaning it did pass the code check. And I can see that it's in green, meaning no errors or warnings were issued. Now that I've achieved a connect, now that I've achieved a passing connection design, let's go ahead and click on the save icon to save these changes to the currently selected joint. Now at this point, I'm fairly satisfied with my connection design for the moment component of my reaction. So I will go ahead and close out of the connection pad. Within the graphic on the thumbnail in the joint selection area, I can see that the moment angles have been updated and I can see that the interaction ratio is now revealing the current status of the connection, which is passing for both our shear and our moment connection assigned to this joint. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning a moment angle to take care of the moment reaction on a beam column flange joint and ram connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.